Are you frustrated because you generated these insane tracks on Suno, but you wish you had your voice on them? Well, today I've got the solution. I'm about to take a full song that I generated in Suno, rip out the AI vocal and replace it with my own in a program called Controller AI. If you're building an AI music tool stack, this is one you'll actually use because it solves the biggest bottleneck, which is getting vocals that truly fit your track. And whether you're swapping in your own cloned vocal or choosing from Controller's hundreds of pro vocal models, this tutorial will show you how to get your track sounding right. But stick around because by the end, you're gonna catch all the important details that'll level up your music production game so you can expand your client reach and potentially make more money with your music business. The quick question while you're here, what is your favorite AI music program? Leave your answer in the comments below. And if you don't have one yet, comment, I'm open. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the main dashboard of Control of Voice AI. But listen, if you haven't already done so, could you guys please hit that like and subscribe button? Because we are definitely getting the word out about finding free or highly discounted AI generation programs because my goodness, we know how expensive costs can get as content creators. And this program, by the way, that we're using today, you can get started for free and try this one out. And I will leave the link to this program and to Suno in the description below. All right, let's get going here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Suno. So let's go ahead and grab a track from Suno. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna generate a brand new song to demonstrate how powerful Controller AI is. And we're just gonna use simple, and we are going to let Suno do all the heavy lifting today. Okay, let's take a quick listen to this. Okay, that sounds good to me. Well, let me just take a quick listen to the second one. All right, let's go ahead and download this. And we're gonna click on these three little magic buttons right here. So we're gonna come down here. We're gonna go ahead and download the MP3. We're done in Suno, so let's over to Controller Voice. And here we are, so let's log in. Before we move on, let me show you the capabilities of Controller Voice. You have a library, which right now I don't, I just have one song in here. I have a cover song in here. And then you have song generation. And this is like Suno where you can generate your songs right here. Swap voice. Again, you can do that. This is where we are going to live today. We're going to be swapping the voice from the AI track with our very own voice or whichever voice you'd like. You could also swap of one of the hundreds of voice models that controller has. And then split stems. So this is obviously where you would have to separate the vocal from the instrumental. And then style sampler. This is convert lyrics into music in any style. And here's where the magic happens in controller. You need to create a voice. This is where you would train and clone your voice or your singer's voice. And then here are my voices. So right now I have one voice cloned. And this is my buddy Steve who is the lead singer in our band, Cross and Crown. So the first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and create our cloned voice. And there are a couple ways to do that. You can record your own voice right here, and we're gonna do that. I'm gonna clone my voice, and then you can upload clean vocals, which I did with Steve's vocal. And there are a couple ways to upload clean vocals. And you can do that by, if you're using your DAW, you can solo just the vocal in your DAW and export just the vocal. And this does require about 10 minutes of clean vocals. Now with Steve's voice, I just separated the stems. So the vocal unfortunately isn't that clean and I'll have you listen to that in just a few minutes. But clean vocals is just no effects, nothing, just raw vocals right from your DAW. But what we are gonna do with my voice is we're gonna record and this is a super fun process. Let's do this now. So we're gonna use my M track for the input, the microphone input, and we are gonna use my M track headphones, right? Cause I'm gonna be recording. I don't want the sound to come out of the speakers cause the microphone is going to pick up the song or the instrumental track and we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and say I'm headphone ready. And it says your environment noise level is excellent. Perfect, your space is ready. 
And step three is finding your favorite song to sing along to. The best takes come from songs you connect with. And here are some of the examples. Or it says, paste a YouTube link to get started below. So do we want to sing one of these songs? Let's see here. And while these would be super fun to sing, these aren't exactly in my element. I mean, A Whole New World, Bohemian Rhapsody. These are great songs. Rolling in the Deep, Hey Jude. Mm, listen, I don't think I'm going to be singing Beyonce, but I'm going to paste in here a song called Wonderwall. Let me go ahead and put my professional looking headphones on. And then we're going to hit record. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. All right, it says I need seven and a half more minutes or seven minutes and 50 more seconds. So let's go ahead and we're going to take care of that and I'll be back. All right, we're back. I sang 10 minutes, four different songs to get these vocals perfect. All right, so here we go. We're going to go down here and we're going to click review my vocal. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, I don't need to add any more vocals. So we're going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and create my voice and by the way there is a quicker way to do this there's an expedited way to do it it only takes a minute or so this could take a couple hours to generate right to process and generate watch here we go create voice and you'll see this in a sec I'm naming this jp and also don't try to train a voice that's not yours. You don't want to get yourself in trouble by using someone else's voice, all right? And if you are using someone else's voice, make sure that you have written permission from them. Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit. This says this can take up to three hours. Feel free to close this tab and check back later. I'll see you in a couple seconds. All right, while my voice is processing, let me go over a couple of more things with you guys. So did you know that after the voice is done processing that you could sing in any language and style without limits? So here it is. Once trained, your voice clone is yours to keep, sing, create, and produce limitless songs with permanent access. And up here, so this is where you would swap the voice, but there is a, a quick clone feature called Instant Clone. And this would only take a couple of minutes. Well, I recommend going through the whole process of singing the 10 minutes so you can have an amazing quality sound for your voice clone, right? So, and here are studio models. We're gonna, let me just show you all these best quality studio models. Let's, let's click this. So let's click this, select a voice or instrument. And right now, see my cloning is in process. There's JP. Let me go to royalty free voices. There are 510 voices to choose from people you could also replace the vocals with an instrument violin sax saxolin interesting talk box trumpet electric funk guitar and bansari flute but let's check out some of these royalty free voices never mind i'll find someone like you i've asked about you and they and the world. So they sound pretty authentic to what AI voices sound like, right? And some are better than others. So you're going to have to filter through these to find voices that you like. So why would you use one of these voices instead of your voice clone? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. If you're a songwriter, but not much of a singer, and you don't really prefer your own voice, you can use one of these personas or personalities to sing a track or sing an album for you. But for today's tutorial, remember, we are taking a, an amazing Suno track that you love with that AI voice, and we are replacing that AI voice with your own voice. Let's go to Song Gen. And like I mentioned before, this is kind of like Suno, where you can write lyrics. If you only have just a couple lyrical ideas, you can just push this little magic button, which is, says improve lyrics, and it'll create all the lyrics for you. So let's say I want to create a Christmas song and just with that short sentence control of voice created all the lyrics to a song and right down here describe with text you could upload an audio reference browse your styles browse styles but we're just gonna go ahead, or you can upload your own track in here also but let's describe with text upbeat jazz Christmas song with jingle bells let's create now all right so here we are this is winter's embrace let's go ahead and listen quiet of a snowfall when the world turns pale yeah super good super super good on that so again if you wanted to use your voice or change to one of 
control as voice models, you can do that. And what you would do is you would come over to swap voice. You would select your voice, but let's say, you know, we're going to use Steve and then we're going to browse files. And I downloaded this to the desktop. I don't think there's a way to, to grab it from the history. We just go downloads and then you grab the brand new track. I'm going to select Steve. But we want to make sure that we do the full song with music. Okay. And let's just swap the voice. So here's the track with Steve singing this new Frosty the Reindeer song. And where our dreams alive, with every breath of cold, your spirit feels like mine. Yeah, it did it. But my voice just finished processing and this should sound, I don't want to pat myself on the back or give myself an ego, but my voice should sound amazing. <laughs> all right, but let's check it out, all right? All right, so I just went over to my voices and there is my voice and let's use my voice. All right, so I am in here and now let's grab that amazing track that we created on Suno and drag it into here. So here we go, it's Bright Horizon and we wanna do full song with music. All right, fingers crossed, here we go. All right, everyone, the moment of truth, here we go. Sunrise paints the sky in gold A new day's fire Story untold Chasing dreams Wow, it does sound like me. And now it has a, a vibrato thing that it's doing that I don't do, but still it has my tone. And it is so much cleaner than Steve's track because of how I trained this cloned voice. The roads are the road. The Okay, let's go back to Suno and listen to the original. Just a snippet. A new day's fire, boats on a road, the wind hums off. Let's come back here, and yes, it definitely has my tone. So it did it. So I am impressed, Control of Voice. So I'm going to be doing a lot more playing around with this software. There are so many more things that you can do with this, but for today's demo and tutorial, it fulfilled the objective of replacing my voice with a Suno track that I absolutely loved that we actually just created today. So listen up, this is ground floor stuff. So guys, like and subscribe my channel. Follow me because this is just the beginning. For those of you who are commenting and engaging with me on this channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and do that. Leave a comment, leave a question. I'll answer those questions to the best of my ability. And I can't wait to see you all on the next video.